Welcome back to Investor Intel. With us today is Sam Keynes, a Blue Ocean Nutriscientist. Hi, Sam. Hi, how are you, Peter? I'm very well. We're getting ready for the mining show, but today we're talking about something completely different. Tell us about the company. Well, Blue Ocean started as an IPO in 2012. What we do, and the only thing we do, is dissolve CO2 in the water so fine it doesn't come out until used by plants to accelerate their growth with photosynthesis. All plants, all types. So any plant that uh, has leaves, has leaves and converts sunlight into food energy can use your process. Yep, the more chlorophyll, the darker the plant. Imagine uh, dark lettuce, kale, cannabis uh, will benefit from doing this. Okay, um, would you need a license to get into the cannabis space? Uh, we don't need one for the 28,000 growers in Canada licensed already that are called ACNPRs, medical uh, cannabis. Right. We do need a Health Canada exemption for the large Canadian uh, licensed producers who were blocked last March from using foliar spray on their leaves for all things until approved by Health Canada. They can only use natural ingredients. Right. That was in part because of the blockage of an illegal uh, chemical used that no one wants to inhale because it's carcinogenic called microbutacil. Right, and that happened last year, the year March. before when uh, it, it, it's a, 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 a chemical that is supposed to be digested, so it's used on fruit, somehow it wound up in the tobacco food chain and was smoked and is now carcinogenic. Well, it's much, much more dangerous to smoke something that's got carcinogens than eating it, bottom line. Okay, so now you need a Health Canada exemption, but you can already sell to the people who are growing at home under a medical exemption. Yeah, for anywhere internationally, we're involved in the U.S. in a number of states going forward on growth trials. Uh, they do not have any similar requirements for uh, exemptions. How about the rest of the world? rest of the world, not at all. Strictly Health Canada. And so we, we have had interactions with Health Canada. Bottom line is that uh, we're waiting for them to approve or disapprove the use of adding simple natural carbon done naturally without chemicals into natural water. That's all we do. Are you in revenue now? No. Uh, we expect revenue by Q3, likely sooner from lettuce, microgreen, basil, spice uh, producers that grow in greenhouses indoors that use overhead sprinkling systems. They're easy for us to tap into. And then probably Q4 for cannabis. We were talking earlier that uh, Blue Ocean is a perpetual licensee of the intellectual property needed to make the CO2 gasification process work, right? That's correct. We also, on our own, are entitled to further patent any type of improvements. And what we have filed for patents for, which is critical above ground, is to foliar spray a dissolved carbon to enhance growth. Uh, we filed in July with okay. the U.S. Patent Trade Office and the EU. That is critical for us to get that patent uh, because there's no similar patents in our patent search we found anywhere. Okay, and you're saying the word foliar. That's the same root as the word foliage, right? Foliage is canopy is leaves because all plants inhale CO2 through their leaves, not the roots. So this will only work on leaves and will only be applied to leaves where inhalation of CO2 to create sugars from the carbon and carbohydrates to allow them to grow. We simply will allow every plant that is short CO2 to be fulfilled, if you may, with their genetic capability of growing faster and bigger. So the plants grow faster? Yes and bigger? Yes. Did We've proven both at, in trial levels at University of Guelph. We'll expand our trials going forward here with University of Guelph. Uh, Well-funded, our best ag science uh, university in Canada. Right. So we'll be working actively with them going forward on a variety of different uh, plants, including uh, anything to do with dark chlorophyll leafy greens. Sounds like a unique value proposition. We hope so. Uh, we've got lots of trials in, in various stages at the moment, about 50 in total, half cannabis, half not in, in various conditions, like for instance, the Health Canada exemption condition right. with larger LPs. But at the moment on the books are trials with lettuce microgreens, flowers like orchids that uh, uh, folks use CO2 gas today in greenhouses, uh, dahlias outside, tobacco outside, trying for tobacco inside and grapes outside and inside is what we have on the books. So it'd be very hard to quantify your target market because it sounds massive. Well, it is. Uh, it's an $8 trillion global food market grown. Eight, about well, eight, four, eight, trillion. $8 trillion a year is the food market. 
We estimate about one quarter of that is the wholesale revenue for growers or two trillion a year. And we're hopeful we can capture one or 2% of that global growth market. Not all of it's irrigated, about half is irrigated. And right. half of that half is, is the kind of irrigation we want, overhead sprinkling. Okay, so what's the next significant milestone in the company that we should be looking for? Health Can approval, hopefully, to our first uh, announcement of some progress with respect to some of these trials I just mentioned. We're targeting two per week starting next week. And again, split 50-50 cannabis. Most in Southern Ontario, are, our bandwidth is limited, but we do have 15 people in North America, from California to Vancouver to Nova Scotia to Florida, right. on our CO2 grow rep list and one in uh, Berlin, Germany, to uh, be the local point person, if you may, for the expertise to online monitor the trials as we proceed. Great. We'll keep an eye on things and check back in with you on those milestones. Thanks for your Thank time. Thank you very today. much, Peter, for having me. Thanks. Pleasure. Bye. Bye. -bye.